For Grand Erie District School Board, the Renewed Math Strategy was an opportunity to bring together the multi-year plan goals, the Board Improvement Theory of Action, uh, through collaborative professionalism amongst our program team and our special education team, so that the layers of a learning were addressed in a collaborative, cohesive, connected format. When we work together is when we are the most effective as a system because different points of view bring different things to the table. So with the renewed math strategy for me, it was evident really early on that psychology had an important role to play because the understanding of the cognitive domains of learning and as they relate to the subject matter of math is the crux of helping classroom teachers to make good decisions. To be able to continue to effectively facilitate facilitate the learning as it continues to evolve. We also knew that it was important to pay attention to our own system staff learning. So we looked for the knowledgeable others in terms of resources and research and uh, staff within the board itself, but also staff from other boards. We met and dialogued with them through a P-code process. And we partnered with Connie Quatrini who came in and facilitated the learning of both the program and special education teams. Realistically, our RMS plan, I'm not the expert. I'm, I'm not going to be the expert here. I'm learning with, with my staff. So we brought in our site consultant to um, have conversations with our staff around the, the typical profile of students with learning disabilities. In my role as a math coach, I think there were two things that we really focused on at Bellevue. Number one is talking about the environment, the classroom environment, and what could we do so that all students can be a part of the learning. Well, right off at the beginning of the year was building the community of thinkers and learners together so they were safe uh, to share their thinking. We'll use one open question. So as far as everybody in the room knows, they're all working on the same question. But what we do is inside that, we'll change up some of the, the, the depth of the numbers. Or specifically for our LD learners, we'll pull out some of the extra wording so they don't have to sort of fight through that to get to the actual question they're being asked. When I set up how it was going to look, or when I told them what the product was going to be, they had to, to fit in my way of thinking. But allowing them to choose to show me me, um, I really we're pulling out their strengths. So I have students that will prefer paper, I have students that prefer to completely do something online, and I have students that will sometimes pick up my phone or pick up another piece of technology and tell me what they've done. So it's not all about just seeing what they've written down on the paper anymore. Our school uses um, OneNote, uh, Microsoft OneNote, as a, 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 a way for our staff to communicate with one another and with the administrative team and the coaching team. So for me, that's been a way to capture all of the student data, the classroom level data, the student work. It's difficult, but our, our school has moved away from product and into process very much. And when we, uh, when we think about that, it's a bit of a risky thing for teachers because what's happened is they don't have a piece of paper to bring me, but instead they have pictures and videos and conversations. And so we capture that that way. We've taken away the strictly pencil paper, the testing, the stressing of the X's and the check marks, and we look at the way children think more than we're looking at um, the, the end product. 